Hello friends and welcome back. It's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and I'm here presenting today for Cut Cardstock. This is part of their um, September promotion. So again, um, I've used a really cool wood grain Tindalo cardstock to create the base of this card. So right now I'm going to start by shwinking, which I've um, seen, seen this out on the internet quite a, quite a bit lately where you take an ink cube and just kind of swipe it down. A piece of cardstock. So this is um, just regular craft, and then here I am shrinking down um, wood grain, Tindala wood grain cardstock. And then I also did a piece of cream. Um, and in the end, I decided that I liked that wood grain color best. Um, just thought that made a really nice background for this um, leaf. So again, this is the one that I'm going to use. So the first thing I did was I ink blended on a piece of cream colored cougar or natural cougar cardstock, um, kind of using some fall colors from Altenew. So again, kind of your oranges and your browns. Um, I wanted to create a piece whereby I could cut um, the leaves out and then also the sentiment background is, is cut from this piece. So again, just kind of working it all in here, different areas so that I can overlap the leaves and get different colors on them. So then I took my um, Distress sprayer, spray bottle, and sprayed some splats on there um, just to bring out the different colors and just, you know, give it a little more texture and then set that aside to dry. So this is the dye that I'm going to use. It's a Sizzix Tim Holtz dye. Um, it's like a skeleton leaf type of thing. And um, here I am using my very fancy tool, the um, safety pen, to remove the, uh, the leaves from the dyes. And you can see they've got lots of holes in them, which I'll have to poke out here in the next segment. But it's very, um, very detailed. And again, I think very textured, which again, always draws my attention. So here I am using my, my big pokey tool to um, clean all those leaves out. Look at that texture and the color. I just think that's, um, I just think that's fun. I love fall colors. We live in a wooded area and uh, I always enjoy the riot of color that shows up, um, you know, starting in the next month or so. So again, the next thing I decided to do was to paint or to uh, stamp a bug and I'll color him with Copics um, to add, again, a little bit of green on, um, you know, on the front of this card. So it's a little, little dragonfly or fly of some sort, I don't know. But anyway, I cut it out with the dye and then um, ended up using the green Copics to color, give it a little bit of different color. And then I threw a little bit of sparkle sheen on the, on the leaves as well. I just thought it was kind of cute. So there's my, my bug. So here's all my pieces. Um, I am now putting together the Thankful um, using a Curious Metallic Copper colored um, piece of cardstock. So again, I cut two. And again, I always like to layer my sentiments. I think it gives it uh, more of a pop. So I'm just going to use my, use my glue here with the needle nose point. And again, it's just a white, white glue, but I really like that. Uh, I like that point. So we'll go ahead and put that on that background. And you can see that was cut out of that original ink blended piece. So I'm going to throw a tile on it just to help it stick completely. And now I'm going to put the rest of the card together. So I'm going to cut a piece of twine and tie all three of those leaves together, kind of deciding what order they should go in. Okay, I like that look. So what I'm going to do now is use my Nouveau Thick glue, glue Runner here, liquid adhesive. And again, it'll give me a chance to get all of those, uh, you know, fine skeleton leaves attached. So again, kind of picking my spot, putting it down. Um, then I'm going to put my bug on there. And again, I only 
um, rain glue down the center of him so he could have a little bit of dimension. And here I am adding that uh, Wink of Stella on there for the for the sparkle. You know, you need to have sparkles on bugs bug leaves. So again, I'll run that glue down the center and kind of fold the leaves up a little bit and kind of, eh, where do I want it? I like it right there. And so again, I just need to attach the thankful. So I've pulled out my handy dandy glue again, white glue. And we'll attach that on there and then obviously I'll attach it on a, um, on a card base will be my last uh, last step, but I'm adding a little bit of white glue there to the knot so that it doesn't, doesn't disappear on me. The last thing I decided I needed to do was it needed some splotches. So again, I took Rusty Hinge, again, one of my favorite fall colors, and um, you know just kind of wet it out there, and I am just doing ink splatters everywhere on the front of this card. And there you have the finished card. So again, this is Terry with Terry's Mailbox. Thank you so much for joining me for Cut Cardstock. Please go out and check out their blog and their shop, cutcardstock.com. And again, I'm on YouTube, Blogger, Instagram, and Facebook, all under Terry's Mailbox. Would love to have you follow or subscribe.